What is going on everybody? This is Jen aka Lady Serena coming at you on my downtime. I hope you're all having a great day. And right now what I have going on is a collaboration between myself and D Chan and we're going to teach you how to make a full moon protection tea. Check it out. Now I have my water going but the way that I'm going to do this, I'm from the north not the south, it's a little bit different here. I suppose uh, the way that I infuse things is completely different, not just um, due to the area that I uh, was born in and live in, but um, the way that I'm used to practicing and the way that, that I usually infuse things is through heat. Um, I don't do cold presses normally. Um, anytime that I've ever done a cold press is for a hydro. And I've done two of those thus far, which are private videos. Um, but in this video, I'm actually going to show you how to do it the original way. And what I mean by the original way is it's origin to my national background. I'm two-thirds European descent, one-third uh, Middle Eastern. So it's kind of obvious that I'm not going to really be... Um, you know, too keen on the cold presses, even though they do work very efficiently. Um, I really love the idea of heating things up um, and infusing them that way because it gives you a sense of warmth. And what we're focusing on right now, as I mentioned, is protection. And when you're protecting yourself, you want to feel a sense of warmth. Uh, that's pretty much what you're looking for, as it does add to the feeling of security. Uh, and that's exactly what you are looking for. Now, normally I would run off to my local bodega because I live in Corny, New Jersey. And you got bodegas like popping up and it's great, man. They got everything. It's amazing. I would have run to one of those to get me some uh, chamomile bud, but I stuck with the tea box. Well, because, you know, I'm two-thirds European descent. Why the heck not? Um, and Di Chan and I were talking over Skype, and at one point we kind of, you know, decided, like, it really is natural either way, whether you get the bud or the tea bag. It's still the same thing. It's still the all-natural herb that you need. Ah, voila. All right. A French press. Voila. I'm not French. I had to, but yeah, you got the picture. You got a French press, $20 Kmart. I promise you it will serve you well. Just do not ever put it in an oven or a microwave. You're good to go. I'm heating up the water right now in the kettle. <laughs> this is where you start a French press. If you cannot get your hands on a French press, get you some cheesecloth, get you some, what do you call it? Uh, Hosiery, right? Pantyhose. That works too. No doubt. No question. Pantyhose and uh, twisty ties or twistix, whatever you want to call them, right? It works. As long as you're able to actually infuse the beauty that is about to begin. What I'm going to do right now is because um, my French press makes quite a bit is I'm going to take the top off first off. Boom. Set it aside. I'm about to Gordon, Gordon Ramsay this. Boom. Set it aside. Quick, quick, quick. Nah, chill. <laughs> Fucking with you. It ain't that serious. It's not a cooking show. This is not where we're going with it. Everybody has options as to not only how they prepare um, their infusion for protection during a full moon, but you can also feel free to have fun with it, you know, make jokes, <laughs> um, you know, be creative, mean what you do. I'm kind of a smart ass. I like to joke around a bit. Oh, that's fun. Ah, it's fresh. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's fresh. That's right, it is. It is fresh. You don't know. I'm a cancer. I love to cook. And I'm so sorry I didn't get the bud. That's why I'm so disappointed in myself. But, oh, that 
guys, if you could just smell this, like I, I'm actually trying to bring it to your nose, like you could smell it, but it is, it's fresh. All right. For a French press, I don't know. Let me know how many like ounces this is. If you could see it, it's like about the size of my head. Yay! It's almost as big as my head. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's right. You want four bags for that. Okay. That actually helps you to make a fully. That's one, two. That's right. I am trying to reach. Three, four. Right? You want four bags for French press. Okay? Measure that. Tie it up if you have to. You take like a gallon. It's like... Maybe a sixth of a gallon. Now that I eye it up, it's about a sixth of a gallon. Right? That helps you. Hopefully. Okay. There you go. Now, you want to protect yourself, so do not at all, under any circumstances, I don't care how you like your tea, you do not add sugar, you do not add any kind of sweetener because you do not want to sweeten it up. What you want to do is you want it to be natural. You don't want it sweet, you don't want it bitter, you want it natural. It's purely about the purpose. Do not sweeten it. You don't want things sticking to you. And have you noticed that when you take just a little bit of, um, what do you call it, uh, sugar, put a little water into it, it becomes a freaking paste. It's like a natural glue. Things just freaking stick to it. Don't do it. Whole cloves. Before I get into that, I also like to add that with chamomile. Um, the property of chamomile is to soothe and to restore. Like say that you've been hit or attacked by anything or you know you, you feel emotionally or uh, intellectually slighted by something. Chamomile acts actually uh, acts. Why did I say acts? That was interesting. Acts. It axes off something. I'm not sure what yet. Um, but I know that it definitely uh, helps you to restore whatever it is that you had lost in the interim of suffering. Right? Now we have whole cloves. I'm going to go with these, not the ground ones, even though I usually like to... Oh, love that. Even though I usually like to add the ground clove to tea because I like to make my own uh, homemade chai now that I've learned how to. See, on the Syrian side of my family, nobody actually taught me how to cook. I have to learn myself. That's okay. I've actually hacked the original curry uh, recipe, by the way. Yeah, I'm not sharing it. It's mine. This is delicious right here. Right? You want to add not too many because they're very strong clove. And you're also going to be using this in a bath. You're not going to just drink it. Drinking is only a part of it. The bathing is next. Well, actually, they're going to be happening simultaneously. Hold on. We have four <clears throat> chamomile bags. The water's still going. Keep that in mind. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Two times three, not three times three. Okay? I'm going to be gentle this time. See what happens. <laughs> Aren't I loving? Um, only because clove is extremely strong. And because we're going to be ingesting this, we don't want it to be too strong. Because if it's too strong, it'll literally make you vomit. It becomes a bane and not a healer. And that's not what you want. Kind of like with nutmeg. If you use over, what was it, a um, teaspoon of it, you actually die. Yeah. Careful, careful, careful. Measurements are everything as far as that's concerned. Always exercise caution. Six whole cloves to a sixth of a gallon. All right. That's what this is. Note that. 
careful with yourself now. Um, clothes are actually used to protect a sacred space. And it's like I had discussed with uh, Dichan, or Dichan, my bad, I always want to say on and not an. Um, spoke with her the other day about it, and um, I, told, I asked her, isn't protecting your body protecting your sacred space? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because your body is your sacred space. I think I hear it boiling. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. This is hot as anything. Like, almost as hot as the sun. And what we're going to do is pour the water in here like this. All the way to the brim, to the hilt, so to speak, as the Scots would say, to the hilt. <laughs> I'm not Scottish, but I used to do Scottish dancing, so I know. Right. Look at that. Just got to wait for that baby to infuse. Okay, bring this back into the kitchen. Be right back again. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick. Yeah, I know, excuse the background. I've been trying to clean. I've been doing my autumn cleaning as of late. Now we have this right here. Okay, we got a spoon. Right, we're just going to go ahead and mix that right quick. I wish I had a longer spoon, but it's all good. I got it. Just let the color set in. Okay, I'm just pretty much uh, going to lift this up a little so you can see what I'm doing right here. Okay, this is pretty much what I'm doing. After stirring, I'm just doing this. This way it not only steeps, but all the properties of the chamomile get into the tea like they were supposed to before I press it. When you press it, everything is just like pretty much comes out. And it actually helps because you don't have to worry about the straining process as much. Um, the French press actually takes care of that for you. I mean, just look at it, right? You got this press right here at the bottom, which goes down and it presses everything. This on top goes to the top so you can serve it. Um, but we're not trying to serve tea at a dinner party today. We're pretty much trying to uh, protect ourselves here. And uh, I'm using this because it's actually the best uh, infusion solution I can come up with right now. If I could just... Ah, oh, fabulous. That looks great right there. That's it. Okay. So, I don't know if you could see it, but... Right here, you see how this is there? Right there? That's where you serve it out of. You want to put that at the opposite end of the spout, which is at this side. Right? Yeah, the spout is at that side. You don't want that. Put this at the opposite end. And press. Boom. It's done. That in itself is done. You could take your time to put energy into it, um, but what you want to do is, if you're doing this via French press, what you want to do is you want to put it like uh, either in a pitcher or like say if you don't have a pitcher, you could put it in uh, a resealable bowl and put it uh, definitely a resealable bowl would be best. This way you can actually cap it off and the animals don't get to it. Leave it out during the night <clears throat> under the full moonlight, which is tonight. Uh, October the 5th. It's technically the 6th right now because we are in the hour. My loves, my leaves. Yes, we are. Yeah, we are. Um, do it that way. We'll put it out uh, into the moonlight. It'll be blessed with the sunlight as the sun rises. 
and I, uh, we take it in the next day or the same day as it is right now um, and we bathe in half of it we take half of the contents put it into our bath and drink the rest of it while we're bathing so we're not only cleansing ourselves in the bath water but we are also ingesting the properties of restoration and protection some of the BS shade that's not supposed to happen um, it's a beautiful thing and it really does work simultaneously once you're finished with your bath before you drain everything out take a cup okay collect just one cup of the water of the bath water of everything that you had secreted from your body um, your skin in itself is the biggest organ on your body it's going to secrete naturally that's why you sweat but it does uh, metaphysically spiritually your energy comes out and that's you know it comes out with the dirt metaphysics it comes out with the dirt and that's what goes down the drain collect a water uh, a water of that uh, collect a water of that <laughs> collect a cup of that keep it aside reserve it bring it to a place away from your home do not feed it to the trees do not feed it to the trees they will hate you forever for that shit put it into the ground into the earth because if you put it into the water shores always wash up put it into the ground because at least even if the earth does erode eventually the properties of earth have actually grounded the contents of such substance Samadha Piyashi again you are blessed stay blessed always again this is Lady Serena thank you so much for watching and now for uh, the Chan's version see you later hey peace it's me the fan and you know that um, tomorrow is the uh, it's the new moon I mean the full moon and you know with the full moon it brings us clarity and illumination okay so what um, I'm gonna be working with and actually I'm doing a collaboration with, with uh, Lady Serena hi yes okay so um, so we working on protection you know and this is more or less you know for for our newbies out there you know what I'm saying I've been there and I know how you know how you want to know things but everything seems so complicated okay so um, here I have everything that I need okay so we have um, we're gonna do a um, chamomile I don't know if you can see it pull it up here okay a chamomile tea and we're doing clothes okay now chamomile you know when we think about cam chamomile uh, we automatically well here in the south I don't know how it is anywhere else but uh, chamomile is normally uh, what we would use for soothing but it has great great magical properties and that's what we're working with okay so um, chamomile um, is good for protection you know and see coming into the full moon with the clarity and the illumination um, every month we need to you know do protection and so that is what we're using this for and a quick fun fact about chamomile tea I don't know if you know it but um, if you like to gamble go to the casinos you know what I'm saying go to the dog tracks and things of that nature because like we have a dog track like right over there <laughs> and um, what you can do is make you a little bit of this tea before you get out of your car 
wash your hands with it because it removes negative energy. And not only does it remove negative energy, but it seals you, you know what I'm saying? Completely protects you. So when you walk in there, you know, you have this bright light thing going, you know what I'm saying? Which, you know, can help with luck. And that's the same thing with, with our clothes here, see? Over here, there it is. Clothes are used for, uh, for luck too. But they're also good um, for uh, clarity and they're good for purification and, of course, luck. You know what I'm saying? So uh, these two combined will make a big bang, you know what I'm saying, in your protection ritual. Definitely. So I've done it two ways. So the easy way, okay, is um, the tea bag with a couple of um, cloves. Now it depends on how you you know how, what kind of strength you like. You know you might want to drop one or two in there, or whatever. And I've already prepared this you know this tea. And what I did was um, this is not the water for it. Cause we're gonna do we're gonna do the other one with the with the with the loose uh, chamomile here. Okay, but um, you in, you get your water, you know, and you enchant your water, you know. Um, and for me, you know, not only did I add, you know enchant the water for you know for this one, I let it sit in um, in my window sill. You know to get that good you know good energy from both the sun and the moon okay and so what we're going to do is we're going to oh it's right here sorry so what we're going to do is we're going to pour this mixture and into which i have to stand up now so you probably won't see my face but you'll hear my voice okay so Here's hoping that we don't make a big mess. I cut a bottle, just a regular bottle. And I did the little spiral thing. So I'm going to pour this in here. And I think I got more on, on the, the table, but that's okay. And we just dropped our strainer, so we've got to do something else. But in these, you know, once we have the atmosphere set, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to leave this area, okay? So that's why we have Plan B. Da -da -da. It's the other half of the bar. <laughs> but if you notice, this is the tea bag, okay? And this is the clove. Where camera? Camera, where are you? Okay. So I had it in here, okay? So once I energize it and enchant it and let it sit in the windowsill, I boiled it. And while it was boiling, you know, I was enchanting it, the water. Okay, I poured it on to let it steep. Okay. Now that, you know, the full uh, moon is coming. I'm gonna fasten this up just like so and then this is going in the window okay so this uh, you make it and you set it in there the night of the full moon well you know yeah the, the day and then you know the night so the next day this is ready to drink okay not only is it ready to drink it's ready to eat now for all of our you know die hard you know who you know feel like it has to be done you know you know with your little your herbs you know and not you know the little <laughs> the tea packet okay we actually have which i've already ground it up 
I don't know if you can see it, but I've already ground it up just enough of the chamomile. Okay, so I've got it up enough of that, and I'm going to put it in, so here we go. Okay. So we've gotten it in there, okay? Okay, and then next, we're going to do our cloves. So I'm going to put two in there. Okay, now it's time to put the water in, okay? Now, this particular water, because I knew that I was actually going to use the energy from uh, the moon in this one, because this one will actually steep in the windowsill the night before, which is the night of the full moon, the night of the full moon, and the night after the full moon, so it's three days, okay? Okay, now this, I'm going to put the top on it. Put it down. And then I'm going to twirl it. And you see how it's just circling? And I'm going to enchant it until it stops circling. Okay, so it has, it has stopped twirling, and you can look at it, it's resting. It's kind of separated, it's some on the top and it's some on the bottom. Okay. So this is done. 
like I said, it goes in the window sill uh, the night before the full moon, the night of the full moon, and the next night, the night after the full moon. After that, all you have to do is strain it. And when you strain it, you ready to drink. Or you can just use it, you know, as a hand wash. It's whatever you want to do. You know, um, I have been known, you know, to, to, to um, make a bath out of it. You know what I'm saying? Because protection is um, it's very important, especially for a newbie. Protection is very, very important. So, it's your magic and it's your rules. You know, just take this. And make it your own. This has been D. Shane. You guys have a great evening.